Hey guys, it's Rachel from the Little Ring Lamb to book review on Reconstructing Amelia by Kimberly McCrate. And I just really finished reading this a few days ago. I really enjoyed it. And this will be a spoiler for your review as well. Um, if you're new to my book reviews or just need a refresher, I rate my books in five different categories. Plot, characters, cover, suspense, and overall in terms of reading and theory, soon five to five. Not so soon, one out of five. So pretty much this book is about two characters. Um, they are stories intersect. We have Kate, the mother, and Amelia, the daughter. And Kate, one day, she's working, and she gets a call from the school to come pick up her daughter, Amelia. And she, when she gets there, she finds out Amelia is dead, and it's presupposed that she jumped off the roof. Later that evening, or I think the next day, Kate gets a text and it says Amelia didn't jump and this puts Kate on a mission to find out what really happened to Amelia. And we get intersecting stories, so we get Amelia leading up to what happened and we get Kate's perspective on finding out what happened, so they intersect throughout the book. And we get a few pages where we have I am chats that they're reading or Facebook cutouts, which I really did enjoy. Um, so plot, I give a 4 out of 5. I definitely think the plot was really good. Um, I was a little unsatisfied actually with the ending because I kind of guessed in a way what would happen um, and I was kind of upset with how Kate handled the situation at the end. I, yeah, I was just, I'm not going to say anymore because I do not want to spoil it, but I would say the end still, you know, it was satisfactory, it's just, you know, it angered me a bit. Um, there were some parts I found where it took a little bit to get into, but once I got into it, it was good. That's why it gets a four out of five. Um, but yeah, it was definitely a good read. It was a good mystery. It definitely kept me intrigued and I very much liked how they had the intersecting chapters because it was a great perspective. Um, characters, I give a 3.55. Also, if I'm looking down, looking at my notebook. Um, characters 3.5 to 5. I give the characters a 3.5 because I couldn't really connect with these characters. I found it was kind of like I was watching a TV show, not like, like watching something rather than being like, I guess like getting to know the characters in a way, if that makes sense. But I didn't really connect as much with the characters, but I did really enjoy the characters. I just, there wasn't that connection. Um, cover, I give a 3.5 to 5. This cover's okay. I really like the paperback cover, I would say, better. Um, it's, I think it has her jumping and she has like a red coat on or something. I don't know. Something like that. But this cover is very creepy and I, like, I kind of get what it does with the book, but at the same time, like, this looks way scarier and way more like a horror novel rather than a mystery suspense novel. Um, there's a hair on it. It's still hair. There we go. Um, and I just, it's kind of plain and it kind of looks more like a horror novel than a mystery suspense novel. So it's not my favorite, but it definitely is an intriguing cover and you really want to know what happens. Suspense, I give a 5 to 5. Definitely love the suspense in this book. It was really good. Um, kept me wanting to read. Um, I read quite a, I think I read this in two days, two or two and a half. Um, definitely kept me wanting to read it. Overall, four to five. I'd definitely read this again very soon. It was definitely a good mystery book. I um, wouldn't say it's my favorite on the shelf, but it's definitely a good contender. And yeah, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. This has been my review on Reconstructing Amelia by Kimberly McCrate, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.